guys, it's Erin, and today I have decided to torture myself for your amusement. I'm going to look at reviews for some of the movies I've been in, specifically bad ones. And trust me, there's a lot of bad ones. Now, I generally don't read these things unless somebody points out that there's something really good about me written in it or something like that. So I figured why not? Like I don't have too many mean tweets, like not an overabundance. So <laughs> this is kind of my equivalent. Okay, let's look for specific movies. Paranormal Entity Review. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Considering I wasn't a big fan of the formula the first time around, the second pass in Paranormal Entity was a chore. You see a lot of her in her bra and panties. Guess that's one thing the asylum thought Paranormal Activity was lacking. <laughs> okay. You know when your aunt and uncle come back from vacation and want to show you their videos, you sit there a bit antsy as you're bored to tears but you don't want to say anything rude because they're your aunt and uncle. You don't want to hurt their feelings. <laughs> That's what watching Paranormal Entity feels like. Uncomfortable vacation videos. <laughs> yes. I need to save that. <laughs> you get what you expect, which is crap. <laughs> the movie gets annoying after the first few minutes. I thought that having three individuals in this enactment would make it better than Paranormal Activity, but once again, I was misled. <laughs> this film, an average film, with the horrible acting and mediocre story. <laughs> oh, God. Sounds about right. <laughs> As an aside, I will for the remainder of the review be ignoring the hashtag in the title as the story does also. True. Johnny and Natasha sneak off from the rest of the group. They appear to head straight into a completely different film altogether for some morgue-based slow-motion sex to a rock ballad soundtrack. <laughs> the cast performances are fine. It feels like the writers and director have started with one idea in mind and then thought up another set of pieces as they've gone along and tried to include them. Good job, HorrorNews.net! A reasonable Saturday night filler, but unfortunately nothing more. Alright. The acting was... fine. Again, the acting is... fine. <laughs> There's some nudity and hold your breath, and for that, I would like to say thank you, Erin Marie Hogan. It was an unexpected pleasure, and I am now stalking you on Twitter. I mean following you on Twitter. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my Twitter. At me, and I'll add you. I'll follow you back. The people that will like this are those of us who enjoy horror comedies, though this isn't a horror comedy. But it doesn't take itself too seriously. <laughs> we at the asylum never take ourselves too seriously. <laughs> We'd all be dead if we did. Crap. Super crap. Yep. This movie blows. <laughs> I can't believe Danny Trejo and Vinnie Jones would even accept roles in this. I highly recommend skipping this movie. You can thank me later. <laughs> Waste of time. <laughs> This film was awful. <laughs> the acting was really bad, especially from the leading actor. At least he didn't point me out. <laughs> I would love to know who's funding these awful movies because they must have money to burn. It's a so-so kind of film, not awful and a long way from great. <laughs> <laughs> the lowest point 
of the art form. <laughs> oh. Oh. The female actors all need to give up and become bar waitresses. On second thought, if I was having a drink, I would not want these stupid women serving me either. I'm one hell of a waitress, so fuck off. I'm gonna spit in your drink and you're gonna like it. That one really just... Ooh. But thanks for your honest opinion. Anyway, guys, that was me reacting to really bad reviews of some of my work that I know is not my best. <laughs> yeah, if you had a good time, give me a like, give me a subscribe. If not, whatever. Follow me on all the stuff and... Uh, See you next time.